I want to show you a setting in the TI BA2 Plus calculator uh, that you may not be aware of. In fact, I only just learned this. Um, the calculator has two modes for how it does computations. And the default is CHN or chain mode, which means it does the calculations in the order that they are presented. For example, 4 plus 6 times 3 it's going to add 4 plus 6 equals 10 and then multiply 10 times 3 to get 30 and we can see that the default is this chain mode so let me see here so we know that if you were doing this mathematically that's not how you should do it you should multiply first and then add but let's see how the calculator does that 4 plus 6 times 3 and in fact we get 30 which is not the right approach. It also has this AOS mode, which stands for Algebraic Operating System Mode, and it means it does the order of operations as they should be done according to the rules of algebra. So 4 plus 6 times 3, here it multiplies first and then adds, so um, 6 times 3 is 18 plus 4 is 22. So, how do you change the mode? Well, if you want to reformat your calculator, you hit second, and down here over the dot is something that says format. And the first thing you can change is the number of decimal places. Okay, usually a lot of people have it set at two, and after you type in two, you have to enter, and you'll notice it's showing two decimal places. All right, I like to set it for nine, so that it shows all the decimal places and it round and I'll just round out um, the numbers for myself but I find a lot of students will leave it at two decimal places which a lot of times is fine but sometimes if you're doing a calculation you're calculating a percentage and you're doing it in decimal form 0 0.01 will show up even if it's 0 0.0051 or point zero one four nine okay they're almost a full percent apart but because it rounds up or down it gives you the same number so I like to see all the decimal places so let's see if we can change this so you hit second format and if you use this up arrow key here you see CHN that's what we had the chain command and to change this okay uh, at first I thought you hit arrows and things like that you hit second set it changes it to AOS so let's go back to our previous problem here and let's try this 4 plus 6 times 3 and in fact we get 22 which is what we want so let's take a look at a financial example to see how useful this can be Suppose you have a future value problem and we want to find the present value or we have the future value and we want to find the present value. Suppose we want to find the present value of $1,000 received five years in the future if the interest rate is 8%. Now, I used to do it this way, 1.08 raised to the fifth power, and in fact, I'll do it that way, 1.08, and to raise it to a power, we hit the Y to the X key fifth power alright so this is what's in the denominator and then I would use the 1 over X key and flip it over and multiply it by the thousand because I didn't want to be bothered putting in parentheses and stuff even though there are parentheses here I don't have to do that now I can take 1000 divided by 1.08 raised to the fifth power and I get the same number six hundred and eighty dollars and fifty eight cents let's check using the time value of money function keys right to clear that that these would be these keys hit second FV and I'm going to put in five for N eight for the interest rate one thousand for the future value and I'm going to compute the present value and sure enough I get the same thing six hundred and eighty dollars 
and 58 cents. So this is a neat setting for your calculator. It allows it to do some of the things that in the past you did on HP calculators. Some of the older HP calculators used what's referred to as reverse Polish notation. So if you know somebody who has one of these scientific calculators, you put your um, numbers in in an odd way, four, enter, two, plus. And the reason you do that is so it does the, the calculations in the correct numerical sequence. You can also now set your uh, TI calculator to do the same thing.